Good morning. Does God abandon his faithful servants? We're reading today now from Jeremiah chapter 38, verses 1 to 6. Now Shephatiah the son of Maton, Gedaliah the son of Pasher, Jukal the son of Shelemiah, and Pasher the son of Malchiah heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken to all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, He who remains in this city shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence, but he who goes over to the Chaldeans shall live. His life shall be as a prize to him, and he shall live. Thus says the Lord, This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes said to the king, Please, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakens the hands of the men of war who remain in this city, and the hands of all the people, by speaking such words to them. For this man does not seek the welfare of this people, but their harm. Then Zedekiah the king said, Look, he is in your hand, for the king can do nothing against you. So they took Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Malchiah, the king's son, which was in the court of the prison. And they let Jeremiah down with ropes, and in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Jeremiah sank in the mire. So Jeremiah prophesies faithfully, and his words are having an impact. So the enemies take careful note of his words, and they bring them to King Flip-Flop. I'm sorry, I mean King Zedekiah. And they report this, and they tell him, look, this guy should die. He's a bad guy. He's, he's weakening our whole plan. He's, he's destroying the people by his words. In other words, Jeremiah's having an influence. Now, the response of the king, as you would expect by now, sorry, uh, is abdication of responsibility. He says, look, there's nothing I can do against you guys. You know, you guys are basically running the show. Take him and do whatever you're going to do. The king is supposed to uphold justice. But he's not doing that. He's, he's flipped, and now he's flopped, and so now they take Jeremiah away. They hope to kill him very quickly by putting him in this situation. So they take Jeremiah, and they deposit him in the bottom of a pit there where the mud is, and there he is. Things look pretty grim for Jeremiah. Does God then abandon his faithful servant? Now, we'll continue this story tomorrow morning, so we'll see if anything interesting happens tomorrow morning. But what Jeremiah needs to do is take things one day at a time, one moment at a time. Each day is a snapshot. And just because God hasn't delivered today doesn't mean he won't deliver tomorrow. And maybe he will not choose to deliver tomorrow. You know, God knows what he's doing. Nobody has to instruct God. God is, God is on his throne. God knows what he's, what he's doing. Maybe there's somebody who's trying to work up the courage. And God is maybe influencing that person to take the courage to go and deliver Jeremiah out of that situation. It could be. And so God maybe will slow down and let that person come to that space where they'll act out their faith. We don't know. A little hint. We'll know a little bit more tomorrow morning. But anyway, Jeremiah needs to look at things one day at a time. And when you and I aren't quite sure, you know, is God not hearing me? Why is he letting this situation continue? We need to have this kind of photographer's perspective. Look, it's a snapshot. It's a snapshot. Today is one day. What God will do tomorrow or a week from tomorrow, a year from tomorrow, in his wisdom, he's going to do the very best that he can for me. And I can trust him for that. So tomorrow morning, we'll see if there's any interesting developments. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we know that you see our troubles. We know that you see our challenges. We know that you're working. Even now, even though we might not see it, Things are moving. Things are moving. The, the, the devils are working in the darkness. The angels of light are working. But Lord, we trust you for that. We trust you for watching over your servants. We know you will not abandon your faithful servants. Help us, Lord, to just lay hold of your grace and be faithful no matter what comes. So watch over us for good. Keep working. And Lord, help us. We are, we are but flesh. We need your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God does not abandon his servants who exercise faith in him. He may deliver us today. He may deliver us tomorrow. He may not deliver us in the way we, we think we prefer, but we can trust him. His watch care over us is going to be whatever's truly best for us. God be with you today.